What's up everyone? I'm here at Athletes Unlimited. We're on the court, about to go through some volleyball drills and try to make it happen. Try to make it happen. So here it goes, train her. I'm here with my good sisters and I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. My name is Saria Freeman. I am an opposite. I was a formerly a middle blocker. I played middle at Florida State. Leah Edmond, I play outside hitter. Um, I played at the University of Kentucky and now I play for AU. Let's get it! <laughs> Kind of activation, you want to focus on squeezing your mm -hmm. quads every time you come okay. back. So it's a full cool motion. You don't want to extend it, but you want to definitely feel that. <laughs> Very different. Definitely. I started doing these a lot to keep my knees strengthened because lots of this pulls on your knees. All right, so can you do frog like this? You jump all the way down. <laughs> everything freaking crap. Hammies. They're always tight. My hamstrings are never not tight. Girl, my hips are tight. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to be better with my life, but my life. Here's the bar. Put some weight on there. Yeah. I'm gonna, we'll do a little light. I'm not going to kill you today. I love that for you. Okay. I love that for me. <laughs> and I got a game today. <laughs> Look, I love that for us. Okay. Mutual. Trying to focus on fast and explosive uh -huh. coming up. Yes, ma'am. Woohoo. So these shoulders, they go up. You can track, you don't always have to. Okay. You can. There you go. Yeah. So I'll turn back and dance. <laughs> <laughs> that four? Yeah. Okay. That was good work. Easy. Keeping our shoulders, chest up, everything stiff here. And we're just gonna accelerate through our legs and try to jump as high as we can. It's like a bird! Landing and then coming up. Push knees out. Good. Soft landing. With flat footed, not to Okay. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Now you feel your hips working more. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Good job. Woo! Woo! My girl. So, big thing about passing is you want, first of all, your arms straight. You never want to pass with your arms bent. You need a full open contact point. There are two ways that you can do your platform. I prefer to overlap. So you can either take your right and your left hand or left and your right, whatever. And you're gonna take it like this and you're gonna fold in. So your thumbs look like this. Your thumbs should always be lined up. That means that you have an even platform that your forearms are straight and ready to go. For base, when you're passing, you kind of want about shoulder width apart. You don't want to be too far away because you have to be able to move. So you want shoulder width apart. Usually you want some type of bend in your legs. Some people kind of start standing up, but you definitely want to be in this bent position when you're passing. And then we bring our platform back out, straight arm, overlap, and that's how you should look when you pass. So we are going to work on some passing footwork. Rarely in volleyball do you actually pass the ball straight to you, so you have to be able to move. And there's specific ways to do that to make it a lot easier for your angle and for your feet in general. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're in our base position, so knees are bent, shoulder width apart, and we're gonna focus on shuffling to the right. So all you're doing is taking a one, two shuffle. You never want your feet to ever touch. You wanna keep a wide base the entire time. One, two, and then usually pass. So that's kinda of like the basics, it's the same way to the left. So all you're gonna do is take those two steps to the left, pass the ball, simple as that. For blocking positions, it's important to have our hands in front. You want to have your hands kind of strong just in case a ball comes over, you're able to react quickly. Okay, you want to be in a comfortable stance a little bit more than shoulder width apart with your feet and in a ready position, meaning like your knees a little slightly bent. I'm a right side blocker, so I typically am always talking to their middle about our timing. So that's what you hear me say, ready, up. Ready, wait, up. That's for our timing, and then just make sure that we're penetrating and your arms are as strong as possible until you um, come below the plane of the mat. Up, up. Toughest opponent that you've had, like neck to neck, like <laughs> when you're up against them. 
Um, toughest, uh, okay, so toughest team, I probably would say Florida, and that's a huge rivalry, Florida, Florida State. Mm -hmm. Playing at their house mm -hmm. is never an <laughs> easy situation. I was a middle, I played against middle, so I focused more on my position, and so Chloe Mann, I don't, uh, she was a Florida middle. She was one of my um, opponents, and we actually came in the same year, so we actually saw each other every year, so that was one I can say is consistent. You know what crazy thing is? It's Florida! Yes! <laughs> SEC rivals. Oh, that game always had really big implications on it. I mean, we played some really incredible people, especially in the tournament. I'd definitely say Michaela Fecky, the two years we played in Nebraska, really put a number on us. But yeah, definitely a lot of the opponents we put in the tournament really were our whole hardest competition. Cause I mean, by the time you get to the tournament, you know that everybody there is good and they deserve yep. to be there. So mm -hmm. yep. definitely her. All right. About to take y'all through recovery with my AU sisters. We're about to get it. Let's go. Oh, he's gonna take this just a massage into a cupping situation or just the massage today? So I did cupping yesterday. Mm -hmm. I'm right handed, and so the left side of my back it gets tight mm -hmm. from me just using my, my dominant arm. Mm -hmm. So he's just trying to release some of the tension. We did cupping yesterday to release and then now we're just massaging it out. What are some like working out that we can do to make sure yeah. we stay healthy? That for me, I would say Bikram yoga is mm -hmm. probably the biggest thing that changed my, mm -hmm. and I decided I need to do yoga more often because okay. I was Gotta like, stay bendy. Right, working, like I need to keep after it, you know? Yes ma'am. You know, a lot of times when it works, you just want to be like, okay, I'm fixed and not do mm -hmm. it. But you definitely it's something that you need to maintain. So yeah, just taking care of your body through the process. Now, if you don't have access to a trainer or anything, what are some ways that you keep that arm, you know, not stiff, especially, you know, my hitters out there, it hurts sometimes. <laughs> Um, I do a lot of work with bands okay. um, and mobility and things like that. So before I practice or do anything, I go through a whole set of warming up my arm, getting mobility, doing all types of range of motion. Mm -hmm. So my arm can get used to doing it, um, those movements again. Mm -hmm. So what are the keys to, to not being injured? So keeping flexibility, mm -hmm. um, keeping your range of motion. Mm -hmm. um, so stretching daily, staying warm, mm -hmm. um, making sure that you're activating those little muscles. So like she was saying, using bands. Mm -hmm. And then recovery is key. So rolling out with a foam roller, using ice and compression, mm -hmm. um, allowing yourself to rest. Mm -hmm. Sleep is an active part of recovery. Nutrition. Need that. Those are all <laughs> great points. Um, your body needs all of that. So if it has all of that, then when you put it to the test on the court, then it's going to do better for you. When we cup, we get to separate the fascial layer and the muscle layer mm -hmm. and allow for more blood flow to come through. And mm -hmm. that's why you have the bruising. I see. With blood, it brings all the good stuff, all mm -hmm. the good nutrients, so it can heal, but it also gives it a little bit of space. And that's why it Nice. Looser when we're done. Okay. Gotta get right. Gotta get right. Thank you guys so much for coming through. It's been real and teaching us volleyball. Train her. We're out.